Because of community concerns about safety after Sunday's murder at Fayette Mall, its owners are increasing security and putting restrictions on underage visitors on the weekends. Lee Searcy looks at the changes and the crimes reported at the mall this year in tonight's LEX 18 Investigates. Since shots rang out inside Fayette Mall Sunday afternoon, killing 17-year-old Kenneth Bottoms and injuring two bystanders, the owner of the mall is beefing up security in and outside the mall and is increasing its youth escort policy. It's now requiring visitors under 18 to be accompanied by a parent or guardian 21 years or older during all mall hours on Friday, Saturday and Sunday or at any other time the policy is in effect. Security will be on hand and unescorted youth will be asked to leave if an adult 21 or older is not with them. Anyone who refuses could be charged with trespassing. An adult can escort up to three people at one time. Shoppers we talk to are all for the changes. Oh, I think that's been needed for a long time and I'm glad it's here now. You know, it's better than never. In light of Sunday's murder, which police say was not random, we wanted to know how many crimes at the mall have been reported to Lexington police this year. According to our open records request, officers responded to Fayette Mall for 115 reported crimes. Most of them involved shoplifting and thefts. On January 7th of this year, someone reported a robbery with a handgun at the mall. That case remains open, no arrest. In July and August, police responded to two separate incidents of wanton endangerment. Today, business appeared steady, customers coming and going as usual. A quiet day of shopping, people hoping it stays that way with these extra measures in place. I can see why they do it. There's been multiple things that happened here and at the malls in Louisville, so I mean, it's just protecting everybody else, I guess. In Lexington, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.